Welcome to the class of start design and understand each and every component requirement the processing circuits so that you can read your final law what was smart sensor how do we define a module containing sensing element along with necessary signal conditioning device okay so that the output will be truly or nearly compatible to the intended end device now your intended end device can be a display you just want to display your information that's for no other objective okay you are establishing a monitoring system you want to sense some parameters let's say this room temperature humidity inside the room right you in the process the amount of pressure you are giving in your class नहीं, हैं? Then I have to mount one pressure sensor over each and every, along with the necessary detector. Hmm? So the kind of parameter you want to observe, है ना? So what are the things? Primarily we have discussed two component: micro machining, micro electronics, है ना? We heard about signal conditioning devices, yes or no? So these signal conditioning devices do basically design and fabricate it. some sense of electronics to be right now scale can be micro so you can say micro electronics scale can be nano so then you will say nano electronics okay so basically these units remember it's not complete ha huh? this output is analog or digital <coughs> where
ठीक है इफ योर ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू मेजर द एक्सेलरेशन सो देन ऑलरेडी द डायरेक्शन ऑफ मूवमेंट इन स्पेस सो यू कैन अकॉर्डिंगली फिक्स वन इन द डायरेक्शन दैट इज मोर देन सफिशिएंट सो दिस पार्ट इज ओवर देन वी हैव कन्वर्टेड इट बिकॉज़ सम हाउ आई वांट सम पैरामीटर वैल्यू सो दैट अल्टीमेटली वी कैन कन्वर्ट इट टू अ इक्विवेलेंट इलेक्ट्रिकल सिग्नल मे बी इन फॉर्म ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड वोल्टेज मे बी स्टैंडर्ड करंट डिपेंडिंग ऑन योर रिक्वायरमेंट सो दिस पोर्शन इज योर माइक्रो मशीनिंग पार्ट इज ओवर basically this is your sensing element or this is your sensing film understand so what do you say in a thick film sensors thin film sensors ha na so these are basically your sensing element which is mounted over the film because it's like a film like structure so that's why we call it thin film or thin film depending on your dimension okay or even if the thin film is not sufficient then we go for the monomaly design okay what we are currently using in our day to day Like for commercial applications, for industrial applications, both thin film and monomaly are active depending on your application. Now the what this delta C. Now here we are going to process this signal. So what we are done? The first we use the Wilson bridge. Okay, na? Now in Wilson bridge, what we have done basically? It is primarily acting as a three filter. First of all, okay. So what will happen? That at whatever frequency you are operating, because that depends on this mass. So depending on the mass, you have a one natural frequency, some value. You have a one delta ratio, some value. So this natural frequency may operate in parallel to some other information. Okay, I want the noise that may be a wanted signal, that may be unwanted signal. If it is purely unwanted, then you can say noise. If it is a some other information that has nothing to do with you. But there is a parallel user, then you cannot say it's a noise. Okay, then I will say that that is a unwanted signal to my application. The likewise, my information is unwanted to the adjacent user, right? So whatever you are assuming that in that case, now here we use a two active arm bridge. Two active arm bridge you can construct, or shall we exercise again? Try all of you. Draw out two active arm Wilson bridge. Draw the diagram. Though I have to combine it, I do not want to remove it. Just a two active arm Wilson bridge. You can assume two. Can I say two static values, <coughs> है ना? And two dynamic. That means two dummy value. Both dummy value. Let us take it R. Some value. R R dash. R one. Anything you can write. Okay. So dummy means. Dummy means. That is as good as a constant. Nothing. No values. Understand? Many times in book you might have seen that dummy register. What is dummy register? Dummy means not retired. That is static value, and it has nothing to do with the processing of the signal. So ultimately, it is two R. Ultimately, R is a constant. So whether you multiply it, divide it, add it, that will be treated as a constant in your final expression. Okay? You have two active arms. Now, where will keep two active arms? Where is it? Hmm? Where will it? And in the warm body will it? Register, ना? 
So, royal blank is, is correct. Nay? Nay? I'm a best all boy. Correct. Go on. Change or circuit is correct. Whitstone bridge is adjustive or empty? Elements are adjustive or empty? Registered, na? So, what should I do? Let me take it in this. Set up. Let me remove this component. This component. Rather, let me take two variable registers. Hana? Why variable? Why variable? Because let's say if this value is something I'm not bothering about this two. These are the constants. Okay? So this one will vary with respect to C plus delta C. Now the value of C is already known. Okay? Variation is a plus x or minus x. Or plus minus y or plus minus z. So depending on direction of compression or expansion. Let me say that expansion is plus delta C. Then can I treat that compression is C minus delta C? Okay. So this value will change according to this and this value will change according to this. So I can now treat it as a two variable resistance. Okay? Whose values of resistance will vary according to this. Get the point? Getting the point? That's why if I can mention this assumption, I can straightforward draw like this. Understand my point? Okay? Or if you have confusion, then you will draw this. That is clear? Now, because there are two electric arms, so ultimately, if your supply is electrostatic voltage E, so it will get E by 2. Now, because E by 2 is the 50% of the actual magnitude, now I will be able to quantify which one is my signal, which one is the unwanted signal. Possible? Possible? Eh? Like, assume a scenario that in your class, a student of class 5 will suddenly come, and will be casually dressed up, come and sit here. Can you identify your one? Eh? Why? Possibly due to height, and due to the aging impact on the screen, over the screen, and face, right? Face recognition. Uh, your sensor can by default not require any additional media. So here with a disclaimer, aging doesn't mean that you are people have got older, but that boy or girl is relatively much younger. So we can detect. Huh? Okay? So this is something like what you are clear? So if one magnitude, because operating frequency is same, remember, huh? if it is operating one megahertz, maybe some un un other unwanted signal also exists at one megahertz. But now the amplitude of both the signal are different. So I can once I can once I can detect, I can classify, I can track it, okay? or I can bypass it. But if the detection mechanism is poor and you have no other media that which one is noise, which one is my signal, then then that will be a hassle for me. Getting my point? Because remember they are operating on a frequency plane. Getting my point? Like your surface is this. Okay? Maybe you are working in time domain. So signals are working in a frequency domain. Okay, one by T. So if two signals are operating at same frequency, then the only media is the look at the strength of the signal. If the strength of the signal one is 80%, one is 90%, you cannot control. Getting my point? So if you can get a question from that, can we take E by 4? Can we take four electric ones? Yes, you can. No problem. If needed, you take it. Understand? Because here the dimension is varying in one direction. It's a plus minus x. So purposely we take two values. There is no need of another two empty bars. But if you want, you can take it. Okay? Obviously, that one will add a little more cost. Not that cost that your things will be so heavy. It's not 1980s. It's say your 21st century, third decade. Okay. So adding two additional arms will hardly impact the cost. Well, but it is not necessary. First, it is not necessary, so I take these two things or dummy. Idea is clear? Now, this will give you 
this out. Okay. So now, as good as your signal is processed, now this signal will be much more sensitive than this. Number one. Number two, this circuit, the first stage of the signal conditioning circuit, mostly is the bridge network. Mostly, most of electronic devices. Okay. So this naturally, because of its a tendency or act, it naturally acts as a or behaves like a pre-filter. Okay, remember it's not a specially designed filter. Filter is something else. Okay, but because it allows only one only one signal to pass here, you cannot detect two signals here. Only one. So it naturally acts as a pre-filter. Why we also pre-filter? Because before filter you have already fixed it, interfaced it. And maybe you can say that initial filter. Why? Because this is the initial stage of the signal conditioning. There can be intermediate stage, there can be final stage. Normally we keep filters in final stage. Okay? A special design filter. Then this signal, now what do you think? How much distance it can travel? Few mm or some months of centimeters. Because it doesn't have a much strength. So it needs amplification. Maybe that might carry standards to 6 times, 3 times, 4 times, depending on your application. Right? So I need some kind of amplifier. So let me put the amplifier or the amplifier. Okay? Now important is that this is all. What is it? What is it? Instrumentation वाला है जहाँ जहाँ मौका मिलेगा वो सो और स्टोरेज नहीं तो मन तो ये बड़ा ही मानो ना क्या instrumentation दे यार old age guys okay doesn't matter how smart or जितना ये ही हमें वो जो लेते हैं आप ये आप industry is not going to work without instrumentation हाँ यस instrumentation also has to be updated that doesn't means that whatever instrumentation engineer is doing in 1970s Still, the same trend will be keep on going. Huh? Okay? So, you cannot be so slow. You have to add the new things. And, and obviously, those new things, new technology should be always, should be always compatible with the previous versions. Because if you are working for a field environment, field application, okay? Commercial application, commercial is something different, industry applications that you cannot just go in your previous component and throw it out and then again straight forward install one new assembly line, okay, or new production line because it adds sometimes maybe hundred to thousands of crores <coughs> of rupees, okay, just to commission one assembly belt or one installation line or one fabrication line, unit, okay, thousands of crores. So it's not a job. That tomorrow you will bring a highly accurate digital controller. There is a like a one version ahead. Okay? And you will say that to managing director of the plant that sir, this is the beautiful thing we got. Same company. You simply just throw it out. We will install the new. Who will pay the cost? Who will pay the cost? Installer or the buyer? Manufacturer. Manufacturer. Because they are the end user there. Okay, and if the one product cost is one crore, and in that industry they required hundreds of sets, so it's a hundred crore. Now hundred crore is not free, na? Okay. Moreover, if the previous version is working very accurately, what is the need to replace it? Na? We have been already discussed that this digital control accuracy level is how much? This industry digital controller accuracy level is. Here I will write it on the board. 99.9%. Theoretically, it is 100%. You don't know. Tick. Ah, yes, you got cheaper version, then they go for 98, 95, something. Okay? But these things are already achieved. Not today, two decades, three decades back. So you do not have a special requirement, go no it. So this instrumentation amplifier. Now what this instrumentation amplifier will do? It will amplify this signal. 
maybe the gain of the amplifier is g, so it is g times of delta c. Yes or no? Yes, ma'am? Eh? Strength of the signal comes from here. Eh? So it's e by 2. Now, whatever the e is, it will multiply that to the Improve hoja ka signal strength. Eh? Earlier we had said 10 millivolt. Gain is 1000. For example, 10 to 3. So now it will? 10 millivolt multiplied by 1000. Okay? Insufficient, make it 10 to 5, 10 to 6. It's up to you in your hand. Okay? Fix some value so that here you will get the tensor volt. Right? And most of these electronic devices, these electronic devices, including your smartphone, laptop, your smartwatch, maximumly they operate at plus minus 12 volt. In industry application, there are certain applications where you can work at 16 volt also. Okay? Then you obviously deliberately pass. High current, relative high current. Here, high current doesn't mean that you are comparing it with the transmission. That's a different application. That is different. Okay? But they operate at normally 1 ampere, 2 ampere. So, there, if you can manage 5 ampere, that means it's used. Okay? Obviously. This is the concept how your fast charger, slow charger, charger. Clear? Yeah. Okay. So, you come down here. Then we just come to this reference, very important. What is this? PS AD. PS AD stands for phase sensitive amplitude detector. Phase sensitive amplitude detector. Abhi tak input kya tha? What was the input? Change in amplitude. Yes, no? You see, change in amplitude. Converted to parametric value. Again, change in amplitude. Converted to here, modified here, still change in amplitude. Multiplying with gain, still change in amplitude. Get my point? Now we keep this particular device purposely so that now the output will be change in angle. Okay? Now angle will be probably little more confusing because angle can be directed into phase, angle can be directed to frequency. Okay? So because I am working at the fixed frequency, so there is a no need to vary the frequency here because I am working at a particular frequency depending on the value of m. So my frequency is constant. So your omega t component is constant plus phi or theta, whatever you want. Okay? Terminology is involved in this side. Okay? So this theta is omega t plus phi. So you are changing this phi. Understand? So accordingly, this is. Ready, my mind? So input amplitude, output is variation in phase. Getting my point? Why do we need it? I've already provided you some certain notes. If you want, you can refer to those things. Huh? You can process, no problem. What do we have? What do we think? It's an industrial environment. <coughs> Industry means? Basically, field environment, field applications. Now, field is a, always a harsh environment in terms of noise. Lot of disturbances are there. Now, what is disturbances? Unwanted signal for my application, right? So, anything other than this omega n, rest everything is unwanted to me. And uh, suddenly, maybe a vehicle is passed through that same division. It will create certain noise. It will further create some vibration. Okay? Maybe operating at different frequency. So it will create some attenuation over here. Take in any way, my signal to noise ratio will <laughs> decrease. And that is something I do not know. Okay? Now you might have noticed that the amplitude, change in amplitude of a signal. So for example, if simply I will draw a pulse. Purposely I am drawing here, nothing goes this. Now what is this? What is it? Amplitude, no? So let's say this amplitude is E. I would say E naught. Okay? That will be the quotient voltage that is not varying with time. Understand? Now what is it? Eh? Width. Width, no? So let's say its width is A. Or 
If you are confused, you can take W, but because here we will take this rotation, so purpose we are going to take. So this width is A. So if there is no variation in this signal, so we will say this A naught. So if anything is a variation, then A naught plus something will be or minus. Okay? Agreed? What is it? Phase, delay, maybe a little bit of five. Okay? Now because it is a pulse, so it should have some time period or not? Or infinite? Some time period. Maybe duty cycle can be 50%, can be 75%, can be 25%, can be 100%. 100% of that. So if let's say I am assuming it is 25%. Okay? As an example. So somewhere that will be the range. So this one will be will be the T naught total time period. So if I have got this total time period, can I have a F naught? I can one by two. Okay? Or which budget? How much will it be? You have a time component or frequency. Width of the signal, है ना? Total cycle that is t, ठीक? और total operating frequency that is there, then that is the magnitude, or that is called the strength of the signal. That's it. Phase, phase is phase. ठीक है? One is change in position, one is change in width. ठीक है? So that will give the position. ठीक है? Now Probably under the end of communication system, you might have studied all these things, or probably you study, so you will not go into detail. That is how the maximum thing can be done. Okay. Now, point is that at the input of PSD, things are varying with respect to this something. Amplitude or magnitude of the signal. So that is nothing but the strength of the signal. Okay. Now I want my output in form of this. Okay. Or maybe in form of this. Okay. So if omega is known, multiply by t, so it will give me angle. Okay. Or the phase, or the total component. Okay. Phi, theta, or whatever. Okay. So angle is equal to frequency component plus phase component. Now my phase frequency component here in this application is constant. I have to keep constant because I cannot change magnitude all the time. है ना माय मास इज़ फिक्स ना ठीक है सो के बाय एम अल्टीमेटली इज़ फिक्स सो दैट मीन्स ओमेगा एन इज़ फिक्स और नॉट या दैट्स व्हाई वी कॉल्ड इट नेचुरल फिक्स है ना अदरवाइज़ तो वी कूड हैव बीन सेड दैट इज़ फिक्स ठीक है सो नाउ ऑन दैट पर्टिकुलर केस आई कैन गेट माय डेटा इन टर्म्स ऑफ़ so if phi is changing, so this data is changing. So very precisely you can say that my phase is changing. So that's why it is called phase sensitive amplitude detector. Input is amplitude, output is phase. But device that is sensitive to the change in amplitude. So phase sensitive amplitude. Kya kar rahi hai? What is it, is it doing? It is detecting that signal. So it is phase sensitive amplitude detector. Why do we need it? To take any signal, including your communication system, doesn't matter any way you use. ठीक है? Though obviously the optics are much provides much better signal to noise ratio as compared to your other wired media for long distance communications. ठीक है? Are even better than the wireless mode also. ठीक? Because satellite communication has its advantage and satellite communication it has also disadvantages. Okay, disadvantage is that it has cover of two types of the distance. Transmitting to satellite, है ना? Receiver transporter, then the transmission transponder again send it back. So this much amount of distance. Transmission signal is filtered by the satellite itself. They have a inbuilt component. Receiving signal, again you have to filter. Again, you have to filter because it has covered that much distance near the same environment. Right now, so without filtration, you can't do it. So, along with demodulation, again, you have to filter. Now, where you will inbuild these filters? Where? At your local tower. 
because you cannot fix such kind of huge component in each and every device. Yes, it has also. This smart device also has. What it does? Then it covers only small distance. Okay, distance between your tower, mobile tower, to your handset. Now this much distance noise is again further filtered by your, but only this much. Distance. Okay, not thirty-seven thousand multiplied. Okay. Now whatever media you are on, ultimately, what you need to do, you have to maintain certain <coughs> signal to noise ratio. Okay, where the signal strength is sufficient enough to be detected with respect to the noise. Now you cannot say that noise is zero, and you can say that my SNR is infinite. That is something idealistic. So ultimately, you have to adopt that. So you want this one. Okay. Now this variation in theta, remember that this supply voltage is already known to you. Okay. So I want to take a reference. This is called your quotient voltage, huh? Vs by two. This thing. Wherever it is operating, if it is operating at Vs, so this magnitude is already known to you, huh? So I am taking this reference Vs by two. Okay. Plus. Now this output is sensitive to the absolute acceleration. Yes or no? Okay. So if my acceleration is a, so this output will be sensitive to this and acceleration. Yes or no? Huh? Right? So these two components you have added to your adder circuit, and you got this additional result. If you exactly derive this expression, then you will get you will get some another term V S by phi. Now I am ignoring it because ultimately V S by phi is also constant for me, so I can treat it as a constant. Okay, if the voltage variation is already controlled, so V S by two is also constant, so V S by five is also constant. So I am not worrying about much here. Yeah. This output V naught is proportional to a change in a. Okay, so thereby change in this, thereby change in, thereby change in, thereby change in. Got it? Okay. So this is. What the minimum circuit you require? We call it normally level two. ठीक है? We call it level two because the micro machine, micro electronics, both are inbuilt over the same circuit. ठीक है? Most of the time we use the same substrate. Possibly not compulsory again. Okay? Then because maybe machining part. That means the sensing thing could have been used some different, different. Kind of vapors or substrates to construct the sensing field. So not necessary. If needed, you have a say. We can say that one single base, one micro machining part is there, one micro electronics part is there. Fortunately, in your application, if micro machining, that means sensing field to construct, fabricate the sensing field, if they are using the same substrate, then your job is much easier because over the same substrate at the same time, this part you can inbuilt micro machining, this part you can inbuilt electronics necessary. ठीक है नाउ नाउ व्हाट इज दिस एंटायर डिजाइन इज कॉल्ड योर लेवल 2 स्मार्ट सेंसर ठीक है लेवल 2 इज वेरी इनिशियल ओके नाउ इन सम एप्लीकेशंस वी डेलीवरली यूज इट बिकॉज़ समटाइम्स इन इंडस्ट्री आल्सो इट रिक्वायर्ड अ एनालॉग सिग्नल व्हिच इज एनालॉग सिग्नल देयर आर सर्टेन पैरामीटर्स दैट यू वांट टू कंटीन्यूअसली मॉनिटर ओके लाइक ओपनिंग एंड क्लोजिंग ऑफ अ वॉल कैन आई ट्रीट इट एज अ डिजिटल सिग्नल और नॉट कैन आई हैंडल आई नीड टू ओपन अ वॉल And I need to, or I need to close up. How many states? Two states. In between is matter to me. No. At least in my application, not. So can I deliver the binary signal? So the, can I deliver the digital input and digital output? Understand, na? Digital input ka kono sa hoga? Whenever the signal is feeding from sensor to controller, because your brain is a controller, na? Whatever is coming into the controller, that is in. So it is DI signal. Understand? Now, if digital output, that means the controller is dictating or instructing to actuator to do something. Again, it will send a signal. Now it is DI signal, digital output. Okay? We will study all these things. Similarly, now that is a closed tank. Something is processing inside that closed tank, and I continuously need to monitor that inside temperature and inside pressure. Now, is it a continuous section or discrete section? Continuous section. Let's say that tank, tank pressure is designed. Tank is designed to bear a pressure maximum of 10 bar. Okay, one bar is 
one atmospheric pressure, nearly one atmospheric pressure. Okay, na? It's exactly actually one kg per centimeter square. Okay, so it's point nine nine zero seven something. Okay, so nearly one atmospheric pressure. Okay, so tank is designed for ten bar. So what do you think that how much pressure you will get? Ten bar? No. Okay, take plus minus twenty percent tolerance always. If it is a voltage or current signal. Okay, if it is a power, then you remember power is square of voltage or square of current. So you will take additional tolerance plus minus thirty percent. So that means if tank is designed to bear maximum pressure of ten bar, how much pressure you should maintain maximumly? Maximumly eighty percent of that because my neutral signal is either either voltage or current. Power I am converting. Understand now? Okay. So maximum pressure or something like that. Eighty percent. Okay. So that if there is a certain variation in pressure, that additional tolerance upper side should not cross ten. Maximum limit will go rather than eight to eight point five. No worry. Understand now? But if you are close to nine point eight, nine point nine, and still there is a pressure variation, what will happen? Hmm? Diwali pata. Nice. More than Diwali pata. Okay. Then your managing director will call. Come here. My channel. Have a cup of tea. Okay. And if it is a corporate, then not commenting because it is there. Okay. Okay. So you cannot say like this. Na? Your job is very very sensitive. So now point is. This output is analog or digital current. This we know, we got here. This output is analog or digital. This signal is analog. This one. <coughs> Just check that. Have you done any conversion at any stage? Analog is this. Automatically, it will not happen. Your natural information is available for part to part in analog, continuous. So unless you do not convert into discrete, you will not be able to do it. Hey, you are right. Huh? You think that I could have wish? Huh? Oh God, I could have written all the ten. No? Huh? I could have wish that. Oh God, I could have one CR per month. No? Can I put it? Can I put it? So is analog here? We just improve the strength of the signal. Nature of the signal is still analog. What about here? You change the mode, amplitude to phase. If this is continuous, then it will remain continuous. Analog. What about here? This sensitivity is component of acceleration. Still analog. Have ever done the conversion? No. So this output is. ठीक है, so therefore this entire unit as a common you can say is P U, नहीं? हम्म, what is this P U? है ना बाप? What kind of unit is? For what purpose we design? To process the signal ना, signal conditioning circuit ना, so analog signal processing U. Understand? Now till this point it is common. For any application, so common means doesn't matter. That means everywhere you will keep an instrumentation amplifier. Everywhere you will keep use, use a Wheatstone bridge. Okay, may or may not, but most of the time, 99 percent time you will use a Wheatstone bridge at the initial stage because of its own advantage. But instrumentation amplifier is not necessary. It can be any other commercial amplifier. Yes or no? Huh? No? Phase sensitive amplifier detector. In every information or every kind of information, every application, do we need to convert amplitude to phase? Reverse भी तो possible है वो ना phase to amplitude भी हो सकता है you might not be comfortable to deal with the frequency you might be comfortable to deal with amplitude to amplitude how can I fix PSD so PSD is specially fixed here for this application ठीक है ना so your purpose should be fixed accordingly circuit is designed accordingly we fix the positive value of reference है ना standards and then accordingly we fix and then this adder circuit तो देखो this adder circuit is still analog in nature हाँ, that can be a digital adder for those circuit. This is analog. So this output we got. Get my point? Now at all you are interested because the current field is to process the digital signal. No? 
So therefore, this is this part is over. Now this signal action process, okay, is not the part of this IC. Remember, these two ICs is provided you. That is the max. Now once you got this compatible output voltage, which has followed all the standard requirement, and has a sufficient signal to noise ratio. Now you can do it with anything, whatever you want. You want to display it, just display. It. Okay. You want to process this signal, send it to controller because it has a dedicated processor. It will process the signal. Anna, this information, how it process, depending the prefetched algorithm, according to the controller will take a decision. You might be interested to store that data for the future reference. Okay. At the same time, you are interested to display it for regular monitoring. So that information will be also sent to the screen, those big HMI screen. At the same time, the controller will also inherit it for future purpose. Okay, and if it has process or processing for some other purpose, to take a, to reach to a particular decision, so controller has reached to a particular decision. Now it will convey this decision to plant back, you know, through its desired actuation system. Clear? That okay? You do now this job. Okay. Now you reduce the pressure, or now you increase the pressure, or you just maintain the pressure till this point of time. Okay. Similarly for any application, any parameter. Okay. Here our purpose are the acceleration and vibration, so we are going to switch to that particular part. Now, further what you will do, actual condition, you will use a A to B converter or ADC something. So that you will get a desired output. I am not studying this part because we are focusing on this component. Okay? So once you have your desired analog input, you can do whatever you want. Okay? Obviously, I need to convert it to digital form, so I will want ADC. Take it. Now, you know that your current age controllers, what you are using in your commercial application and in, your, and in industry applications are digital in nature. So rather than label 2, okay, you can say those manufacturers that you give me an inbuilt ADC. Okay, might be your application is already fixed that probably you want to mux and demux it in the both end, transmission and reception end. Okay. Probably you are interested in this information is so sensitive that the system is designed in that way that the information of this parameter continuously should not only reach to the operator but it also should available on the screen of system engineer who is the boss of that particular unit. Not every information but probably this one is very vital information and your boss want that. Okay. So you could require some serial parallel control. These requirements are already prefixed. You have been calculated it accordingly. You ordered, okay? So when you will order, the manufacturer will already inbuilt all such things and feed you as a next version of chip or IC, okay? So that the output of that IC will be able to provide serial to parallel communication. Will also able to provide the digital output, okay? And so on. Any doubt? Can I spread out the book on a new screen? Was that the possible? This one? I think they are also providing a lot of opportunity to learn new things. When I had one of my boss almost 30 years back, he used to say, Right. Try to learn one new thing in a day. It can be a small thing, it can be a big thing. So today, with your help, I learn new things. Now let us go one by one. Okay. We talk about that ASP, you know, analog signal processing unit. Okay. So check that particular circuit. I do not know whether I share with you or not. <coughs> Keep all these components, eh? no reservations. <coughs> this circuit you have? Check. If not, take it and distribute it among the group. If it is available with you, otherwise share. 
So what is it? Primarily they are going to mix in this manner. Power supply two change in capacitance. One will give me positive, one will give me negative. Then to some the distances. One of instrumentation amplifier, operational amplifier IC you can suggest. Any IC number? Remember? When you have those notes, draw it. Take a standard voltage supply. What is there? You require one differential amplifier and two. Two buffer amplifier or unity circuit. Okay. Not necessary that that is the only way you are going to design. If you have your own way, do it. I will do more than that. Is clear. 
if the supply voltage is V1, if supply voltage is V1, then what will appear here? That is V1, na? So due to virtual shorting concept, here it is V1, na? na? So if it is V1 here, then this conductor has no resistance, so it will appear V1. So as good as that, I can say that I can write V1 here. Yes or no? That why I can write V2 here. Okay. Isn't it all right? Yeah. Now let me take two values. Let me take two values. So this one is V1, this one is also V1. Then not to write again. Okay? Assuming that this connecting <coughs> resistance is R1, this one is also R1. That is a separator R2. Why? Because here I am going to feed to input to a differential amplifier. So because it is some other amplifier, I will integrate it. How much time here? 15. 10 hmm? 15. Yeah. So it could have been said to move this. Electrical engineer of the world has completed the class of it. Anyway, so this one is V1. Na? Here, what you will get? Some other voltage because now there is a voltage drop. So, for our better understanding, let's say because here I write V1, so here is also V1. So, purposely I am writing here V01, V0. V0. Some other value than this V1. Clear? So if this resistance value is controlled, so I can control this V0 also. Okay? Practically, there will be not much difference between this V01 and V1, but definitely this is not V1. Similarly, I can write V02 here also, because that is also V2. Right? Now there is a resistance because it will segregate up here the plus minus. Okay? This one is here. Okay? If you want to take this one is higher side, take it this one plus and take this one minus something. Okay? That you will decide. Getting my point? So, what about this output? Will be now. Complete this part. So this is your differential amplifier. Okay? So inverting non-inverting resistance will not be same. How much? Which one will get or less of that is this. Okay? So this is your V0. Get it? Now this V0 is equal to how much? Leaving up to next class, we check that this V0 is proportional to multiple of G1, G2, G3 or not. And if it is then what is the exact point? Take this entire case to be as a part of your assignment, right? Whatever we are discussing. Take, you copy get it, no problem, but do it this exercise on your own. Very, very important. Take. If you can confidently do one job, tomorrow if some other application there, some different requirement is there, you will have a habit to design it, you will have a habit to analyze it, so that your fabrication will be correct. Okay? Thank you. I'll share all these things. Okay?